Hello Unique Devices, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we'll teach you how to make this Zara cap with folded twist in front round the Zara cap and double bow. Please, if you find this video useful, don't forget to like. Also, subscribe to my channel for the new members and for the returning members. Thank you, you guys are the MVP. Let's get right to the video. Right, for this material here, this will be used for the Zara cap base and it measures 25.5 inches length by 12 inches width. Cut 17 for the lining. You will see how I attach the lining to the to the fabric and this fabric is called Yori Yori material in my area. So I'm going to sew from here to that point then to this point and I'm going to sew it down with my sewing machine. Leave this part open. This part, I'm going to leave it open. Okay? And for Mako, this Mako measures 20 inches length by 3 inches width. This material is called Mako. Alright guys, I'm done sewing. You can see how I did my sewing. Don't forget to sew on the wrong part. Why the right part will be facing the line. So I'm turning it out. If you have light in your area please you can iron it out it's better to iron out i just do it this way because there's power failure in my area so all the same i've turned it out and next thing i'll be doing now is to locate the center of this fabric so just wash close what i'm doing and you understand every step So once you locate the center, use your scissors to notch it. Then you're going to take your, your macro and place it right at the center. Just follow the steps, the way I'm placing the macro. Right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to locate the middle part of the macro before placing it on the fabric. Next thing we'll be doing is take it to your sewing machine and seal down. Seal this edge, also seal this end. I'm done sewing, I can see the outcome. Um, what next I'll be doing is try to push in that seam part. Just this method I'm using to push it in, do same to yours, so the seam part will not be will not be showing. Then you fold it, you fold it this way, then hold it down with your pin before taking to your sewing machine. Don't show when I can see the outcome. So next thing I'll be doing is to gather up the inside. Just watch closely, you understand every step.
Uh huh. Let's not forget, please. We have not liked this video. What are you waiting for, my sister and my brother? Just hit that like button, okay? It's highly appreciated. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do so. Thank you. All right, guys. You can see the Zara cap is ready. Let's go over to the design. Right, this material will be used to form that folded twist, and the length of the fabric is 45 inches by 12 inches width. 45 inches length by 12 inches width. Then I'll be adding foam inside, and this foam is half inch foam. So the length of the foam is 43 inches by 3.5 inches width. So the next step we're taking is to fold the fabric for covering the foam and you sew it down. Take it to your sewing machine and sew down this way. Okay guys, I'm done inserting the foam into the fabric. Next now we're doing now is to take it to my sewing machine. Take it down to my sewing machine and sew this edge down. Just one side. I will sew it down. The next step we're taking now is to attach this design on the Zara cap. So I'm going to place it this way, making the wrong side to face you. That's your part to face you. Use the sewing machine and sew it down or use your needle and thread. So I'm done sewing mine with my sewing machine and I'll be showing you how to fold. Please watch carefully what I'm doing here. You will understand every step. So guys, I'm done with the folding process. I'll be showing you how to do your tacking. You see these points I'm showing you inside that folded part. Watch closely. That is where you will do your tacking. You can tack and cut out. You can tack with your needle and thread, then cut, tack and cut within mine of camera. All right, the next material I'll be working on is for the bow that will be attached to the back. And this is the small bow. This measures 18 by 7 inches width. Why the big bow? This is the material that will be used to form the big bow. It measures 20 inches length by 7 inches. Then this is called wadding. This material will be attached to that fabric. You know that your material is very light. So I'll be attaching this. And the small one measures 8.5 inches by 7 inches width. Why the big 
my, the big word in measures 9.5 inches length by 7 inches width. So I'll be showing you how to form your bow. Um, I'll be using one fabric to show you. Alright, just fold the material. Just fold it in equal half. Then locate the center. Please make the, the right part to, to face you. Okay? So mark on the right side. Then turn it out. Making the right side facing you. I'm marking it out so I will see the line very well. So once it faces you, as making the right part to face you, you fold it in. Place the first half. Place it on top of that line. Then bring the other side and place it on top. Just take little, little and place on top of the material. Don't know if you get me. If you're watching it, you understand it very well. Just little. Then you use your pin to hold everything down. The next thing you do is take it to your sewing machine and seal down. Only if you get me, seal it down with the sewing machine. Whatever you do to this material, do it on the other material. When right, I'm done with my stitching, and next thing I'll be doing now is to cut out the edges. The reason why I'm doing this is to get a sharp edge. Please guys, if you have watched to this level, why not smash the like button? Yes! I know you are enjoying what I'm seeing, right? Okay, if you are yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? Mm, hit that button, guys. Yes, hit the like button. And also, subscribe to my channel. Alright, back to the tutorial. Alright, I'm turning out my fabric. And don't forget that whatever you do to this fabric, do it to the other. Boom, yes. Do it to the other fabric. Then I will insert the wording inside the fabric. So both materials are ready for forming the bow. Place the small fabric on top of the big one. Then you are going to locate the center and form your bow. Watch this step closely, you understand everything I'm doing. So finally the bow is ready and I'll be attached. You can see the outcome of my own twist. See the part I see. Look closely, you will see it. That's the point. See inside here again. You see they are all hidden. Please don't see 
on a path that people will notice where you did your rough work. So make sure you hide your hand very well while attaching. So next thing I'll be doing now is to attach this bow to the base. I want to show you how I hem this edge. I had to loosen this part, that seam part, that former, that first part I see with my sewing machine. I had to loosen it small so it will be hidden when I place my bow. And I will use my needle and thread to form gathers there. What I'm doing this is when you place your bow there, everything will be hidden. Don't even understand me. So people will not see that rough part, okay? So just follow this step before placing your bow. So use a needle and thread and tack your bow down to this point. I'm done tacking mine, I can see the way it is. Next thing I'll be doing now is to cover up with my appliques. This is optional, it's not a must do, but I'm just doing this to enhance the beauty. Alright, I got this this um appliques from the market. I had to cut it in piece. Yes, it comes in this format, it comes in this format. So I had to use my scissors and pieces it and use my glue gun, gum it down to some point I want. If you have watched this level, hmm, special announcement. If you've not liked this video, my sister and my brother, what have I done to you? <laughs> Please help my ministry. Like. Please, I'm begging. Just like. And for the new members, Beacon, please, I'm begging. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to support your girl. Yes, please, I'm pleading. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting wonderful designs. Yes, I'll be posting wonderful designs that will be beneficial to you. Alright, this is the finished look of the Zara cap with folded twist and bow at the back. Um, I won't be covering the whole twist with this applique. And yes, I forget. Let me show you this part. This bow can be folded this form. You can touch this edge and it will form, it will form this kind of bow. Wow. <laughs> Hope you love what I'm saying. Or you can just stretch it out and it will stand firm. Hmm. I know in the entire IRV. Guys, go and try this design out. It's really a wonderful design. Thanks for staying to this time. I love you guys. You guys are the MVP. Yes. The unique device. I love you all. See you next time.